What is up you guys, Jordan here, thanks on my channel once again. I have not done a haul video or a pickup video, uh, let alone a vintage haul, and I don't know how long. So, as you can see by the rack behind me, we're doing a vintage haul today. Now I've kind of slowed down on buying things, um, you know there's a pandemic going on right now. A lot of people are still in quarantine, a lot of people still aren't working, um, so I just have kind of slowed down on it. But there have been a few things that have caught my eye that I've picked up along the way, so I thought I'd show you guys some of them. Before we jump into the video, real quick, if you do not have TikTok, if you're not following me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. It's just the same name as my Instagram, the J O'Brien. Um, I have so much fun posting on there. It's just so short, so easy, so quick and to the point. I used to think TikTok was really cringy. I mean, I still think a lot of it is cringy, but posting fashion related stuff um, is really fun and I hope you guys would enjoy it. So go follow me on TikTok if you have not already. Description for that information as well. So I've got jackets, I've got sweaters. Yes, I know that it's summer, but you know, buy out of season, right? Uh, I've got the short sleeve button ups, which are really easy to be worn in the summer and springtime, and then t shirts and pants and stuff like that, and some jewelry. So, without further ado, I don't want to waste your time anymore. Let's just jump right into it. So, first up, we have this vintage tee right here. It's literally just a faded black vintage tee with the specialized biker decal on the front. Um, nothing more, nothing crazy about it, just a faded black tee. I've just seen a really cool, like, casual stylish style being worn by a lot of people and I wanted that just for these summer months because I can't be bothered wearing <laughs> I hate the summer so I just want to be casual but I also want to be pretty stylish so I just picked up this tea I think it was like $15 on eBay um, and yeah just a nice vintage black tea next up is another vintage tea this is called a ringer tea nothing crazy about it once again I mean it has the little uh, hits of blue on the collar and on the cuffs um, but this is pretty cool it's a natural yogurt uh, <laughs> tea I just thought it was cool it's something that's nice and flowy and easy and casual to wear with jeans and maybe like a, like a hat or something like that so just something to throw on casually make something look a little stylish like you're not trying but it still looks kind of cool so that's why I got this next up we have a pair of vintage Levi 505s. It's just a nice form-fitting leg. It's not gonna be crazy wide. It's not gonna be crazy skinny It's just nice and slim. It makes your body look proportional and these are a uh, Naturally high-waisted jean as well, which I wanted to have I'm tired of like the medium low or low-rise jeans I want a high-rise jean like I like my high-rise trousers and I didn't have a pair of white denim So I figured why not pick up a pair of white distressed Levi jeans and I cut off the bottoms because they were too long I just cut them straight off moving on to trousers we have a pair of vintage army trousers once again I just cut the bottoms off because they were like five inches too long I didn't want to go to the tailor so I just cut them straight across I actually wore these in my Harry Styles video if you guys haven't seen that I'll have that in the card up there for you as well I actually had really fun doing that as well but yeah vintage army uh, trousers very wide leg, but it's it's interesting. They sit they sit on your body to where they look like it's just a normal legged slim trouser. But when you turn to the side, they're like you know a parachute. They are huge, but I think they're pretty cool, um, and I like to wear them with like sneakers and just like a t-shirt and a hat, and it just gives off like a nice stylish vintage vibe. And the next pair of trousers is a pair of high waisted black trousers. Um, these come with a cuff. I didn't have to do anything to them. They were just right there for me uh, they have some pleats on the front I think a double pleat on the front um, like I said I just it's so hard to find a good pair of black trousers because you see all these people like the Saint Laurent's of the world or the Balenciaga's and their trousers just fit so perfect but they're also like $800 and I don't want to spend that much money then you go to Zara and those pants while they are the same fit the quality is bad so it doesn't quite draped the same way and so it doesn't look like they fit the right way so it's so hard to find a nice reliable pair of black trousers that fit you well and also don't break the bank so I found these and I think they fit me pretty decent they could be better um, they're more of a wide legged trouser so I need to find more of the slim tailored trouser for those like slim and sexy looks but so far these will do the job 
when it comes to wearing, you know, maybe some sweaters or other things like that. So just a nice pair of vintage black trousers. I got these for $10. Next up is a short sleeve button up. This thing right here, I think is amazing. I wish it was just a tad bit bigger, but I will work with it. It'll be fine. It is a vintage bowling shirt. It has a Cuban collar, um, but the main, the main thing on the back is the chain stitching. I mean, look at the amazing, look at this. Sunbeam, coal, that fire coming out of it. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, it is a women's shirt, but you know, if I wear it with my high-waisted trousers, it kind of cuts off at a nice spot so it doesn't look too feminine, but yeah. I just really loved it. Just a nice white, got the hit of red on the collar, um, and I couldn't be happier with it. Moving on to jackets. We have this beauty right here. This is from 1960s, so and just another vintage jacket. This is actually from North Dakota State. Um, they're the, I think, I'm assuming this is the track championship um, on the back. <laughs> it's very fitting because it says midgets, and you know, I'm only 5'6", I'm just, just joking, I'm not a midget. Um, but it's got the leather sleeves, it's got the wool um, body, it's got the different hits of orange on it. So I think it's just a really cool, unique jacket that you don't really see nowadays. I have to go do something with the tailor because the sleeves are a little too baggy, a little too long, so I gotta figure out something to do, but other than that, I might just sell it too, who knows. But other than that, a nice, unique vintage piece for the vintage jacket collection. Next vintage jacket is this guy right here. This is from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, on the back it says Huron, or Huron, Huron, whatever you wanna call it. Um, this thing is super destroyed, it's super distressed, and that's really the only reason I got it. Um, I liked that it is kind of grungy, kind of edgy, and I would like to wear it with like a pair of distressed black trousers. Just something very nonchalant. I'm not trying to wear it with trousers, I'm not trying to have it make it look cool. I mean, the pockets are ripped, the cuffs are destroyed. So it's just a very, like that grunge look that I was going for, and I think it was only like 25 bucks, so I figured, well, why not? Next jacket is this red corduroy jacket, actually. Um, I didn't, I, I had been on the prowl for a red varsity jacket. I still really am. I want one that's like a red wool jacket, so I'm looking for that. But this right here will do the trick for the time being. It actually says the Manila Ladies uh, Softball. Um, it's got a patch over here that says Versatile, another patch over here that says Carolyn. <laughs> so whatever. But I think it's just a cool, easy corduroy, corduroy jacket. Um, I love the color red. It's my favorite color and I figured why not try and style it a cool way. Last but not least of the clothing, we have this vintage sweater right here. It's like a shawl cardigan. It has a zip up front. I think the pattern and just the, the knit of it itself is so cool, it's so unique. Um, and it just gives me like those winter lodge vibes that you'd see back in like the 60s and 70s. So when winter and fall comes around, this will be an easy casual piece of style, whether you style it open, whether you style it zipped up and closed. Just an easy piece to wear with like a nice pair of, I don't know, chunky trousers, maybe baggy, distressed denim, something like that to make it nice and easy for you. You guys have asked so many questions about on here, on Instagram, on TikTok. It is this beauty right here. This is my pearl necklace. Uh, from what I know and the records that were given to me, it is not a, it's not a fake pearl necklace. It is real pearls. Um, but I literally just went on eBay and I typed in vintage pearl necklace. This popped up. I got it for $25. So maybe it is fake. Who knows? But regardless, it is vintage. I think it looks so cool. And it's just a piece that um, I've wanted to get for a while, ever since I saw like ASAP Rocky and Harry Styles wearing it. I think it's cool. I think it's, you know, pearls aren't just for women. If you look back in history, pearls were actually like uh, considered like elite royalty for, for men to wear. Like if you had a pearl, that was like the thing back in like, you know, King Charles or whatever, whatever it may be. But uh, yeah, it's just an easy pearl necklace. It's a 16 inch chain, um, and yeah, just a nice, easy pearl necklace that goes really well with a lot of different things that you can wear in style. All right, you guys, so those are the most recent vintage pickups. I am on the prowl for a few more things, so I'll probably be picking up a few more things here and there, scattering them around. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, go follow me on TikTok. I'm trying to blow up on that bad boy. <laughs> um, because it's really fun to post on there. And I, just, I have a lot more fun posting those quick, short, easy videos than like doing these long videos. I, so, I still like doing these. It's just there's so much easier and more fun to do on TikTok. So if you guys like that stuff, go follow it over there. Hope you guys enjoyed the pickups. And I'll be talking to you very soon. All right, bye.